God is in his holy place. God unites those who dwell in his house. He himself gives might and strength to his people. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. Amen. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters in Christ, both here and at home, welcome. Uh, Father Chris here, celebrating Mass for the uh, 17th Wednesday of Ordinary Time. And for those of you at home, if you could join with me in praying the guardian angel prayer for extra blessings for participation in Mass while not being here in, in person. Guardian angel at my side, go to the church for me, kneel in my place of holy Mass where I desire to be. At offertory in my stead, take all I am and own and place it as a sacrifice upon the altar throne. At holy consecration's bell, adore with Sarah's love. My Jesus hidden in the host, come down from heaven above. When the priest communion takes, so bring my Lord to me, that his sweet heart may rest on mine, and I his temple be. And brothers and sisters in Christ, welcome. Let's acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. And Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy. Bestow in abundance your mercy upon us, and grant that with you as our ruler and guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast, even now, to those that endure forever. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. As Moses came down from Mount Sinai with the two tablets of the commandments in his hands, he did not know that the skin of his face had become radiant while he conversed with the Lord. When Aaron then and the other children of Israel saw Moses and noticed how radiant the skin of his face had become, they were afraid to come near him. <coughs> Only after Moses called to them did Aaron and all the rulers of the community come back to them. Moses then spoke to them. Later on, all the children of Israel came up to him, and he enjoined on them all that the Lord had told him on Mount Sinai. When he finished speaking with them, he put a veil over his face. Whenever Moses entered the presence of the Lord to converse with him, he removed the veil until he came out again. On coming out, he would tell the children of Israel all that had been commanded. Then the children of Israel would see that the skin of Moses' face was radiant. So he again put the veil over his face until he went in to converse with the Lord. The word of the Lord. Holy is the name, our, holy is the Lord our God. Holy, holy is, is the Lord, Lord our God. Extol the Lord our God and worship at his footstool. Holy, holy. is he. Holy, holy is the Lord our God. Moses and Aaron were among his priests, and Samuel among those who called upon his name. They called upon the Lord, and he answered them. Holy is the Lord our God. From the pillar of cloud he spoke to them. They heard his decrees and the law he gave them. Holy is the Lord our God. Extol the Lord our God and worship at his holy mountain. For holy is the Lord our God. Holy is the Lord our God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. I call you my friends, says the Lord, for I have made known to you all that the Father has told me. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reader from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Lord, to Lord, you. Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure buried in a field, which a person, person finds and hides again. And out of joy goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. 
Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant searching for fine pearls. When he finds a pearl of great price, he goes and sells all that he has and buys it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Jesus Lord Jesus Christ. Everybody, welcome back. We're talking about dichotomies, I was just reading something that uh, was talking about St. John of the Cross. Uh, St. John of the Cross was a, a, a mystic, a very powerful man of prayer. Actually, he and St. Therese of Avila uh, were not only friends, but I think he was younger by about 25 years. Uh, but because of the way the Lord moved through him, he was her spiritual director, I think, as it worked out. I might be off on that, but I think that's the way it went. But nonetheless, uh, why this is important is because John of the Cross, if anybody uh, uh, had a reason to be upset with God or to kind of push God away, it was him. Uh, because basically he was in the Carmelite order, um, and he decided that the Carmelite order he was in needed major reform. But the way that people were living, uh, by how they were not following God, let's just leave it at that. You can fill in the blanks uh, or look it up, just as I can, I guess, at some point. Uh, but nonetheless, so John of the Cross. Uh, so he is basically kept in a cell, uh, like a small room that didn't have a whole lot of light, it sounded like. Um, he, he was starved for many times, uh, didn't have a, a hardly any food. Uh, and so, you know, and so, so the point is that over time he got even closer to the Lord in this, in this zone of having nothing. And so he came out with this idea that the best way to approach God is nothing, or it, which he would call nada in Spanish. Uh, St. Teresa of Avila also, so I guess they obviously were talking about this, because St. Teresa of Avila, as I remember, uh, started a whole, uh, a whole uh, prayer that, uh, I forget exactly what it's called, but I think the first line is, nada te turbe, uh, don't let anything disturb you. Um, and so, uh, and nothing but God, and, and so, but nothing but God is the point of what Saint, uh, both of those saints figured out, that you turn your life over to God, that nothing in this world is worth anything without God first. And seeing through that lens is very difficult because it's exactly the opposite of what this world tells you. You're only worth what you have. You're only worth what you look like. You're only worth what, what you can do. So if you're, if you're tied up and you can't, you know, you're, you're, you're in a hospital or in a nursing home, you're meaningless to the rest of the world, which is totally the opposite of what God is saying. That God is first, that God does help us, that there are those times that God allows whatever. Because he's in his cell for quite some time. Uh, it was very cold, damp. He had all kinds of health issues that started. I'm talking about John of the Cross, he, uh, because of this. And so when Jesus is talking today, it makes total sense as we move into what he's saying to the gospel. Uh, of The gospel of the kingdom of heaven is like a treasure buried, buried in a field. Well, I, I, for whatever reason, this guy doesn't take the treasure out of the field. I guess he feels in his heart that it would be stealing. But it's Jesus telling us a story. So let's just assume that he can't get the, it out of the field. So what do you do? Well, you use whatever you have to buy uh, this field with, with whatever you have, which is everything, so that you can have this treasure, which apparently is way greater than the price that this man is paying, which is exactly what it is with God. It's exactly that. It, is, it couldn't be any more that of us being with God to say, Lord, I want, I desire to be with you. That's everything God wants. If you look at any scripture passage and you come down to that, 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 that solid truth of he wants us individually. And there are reasons why at times he allows us to have nothing, times which he pushes us uh, beyond what we feel we have capacity to deal with. But God always gives us just enough to be able to, to deal with what he's actually given us. Sometimes when we get overwhelmed, it is because we're asking for too much. Sometimes we get overwhelmed it's because it is what it is. Uh, and, and, and I don't have an answer for those scenarios. I really don't. I've looked at many of them and I'm like, I don't know. I really don't. And I can't tell a person what to do in any situation when I hit it because I'm like, I don't know what does God have in store for you? Why is he allowing something to happen to you? I don't know. But all I know is that if we turn over everything to him and if it's all taken away from us, then I guess in the prayer of God to say, God, everything's been taken from me. I've been stripped of everything. But we're never stripped of God's love. We're never stripped of God's love. He's always got that in our hearts. Nobody can take that from us, no matter how much they beat us, no matter what they do to us, no matter how they lie to us, steal from us, trick us, whatever. God can, will always be there for us, and that love can never be taken out of our hearts. That's the treasure in the field. That's the pearl of great price. That everything it costs us in this world, really, you wouldn't have to begin with if you didn't have life, quite honestly. That's what it comes down to. He's given us life. He's given us love. He wants us to turn our lives completely over to him to where nothing else but God. That's it. My brothers and sisters, maybe that's what we pray with today. God, help us in the nada. Help us with the nothing. Help us to become, to see that we are nothing, certainly without you. We are very much something uh, with you. Amen. My brothers and sisters, let, let us now lift up our intentions to our Lord. <clears throat> 
the intentions of Pope Francis, for everything our church is doing, that everybody might know that Jesus Christ uh, is God and loves us, and to turn the lives over to him, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For today's Mass intention for July 28th, for Cindy Spence and her family, uh, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For the next group of people on the prayer intention hotline, for Rebecca Kennedy, Ed Reeder, Jordan Bates, the Trainers, the Jensens, the Reagans, Cindy Cl Clarkson, their families and everybody else in the prayer intention hotline, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That all people struggling uh, with, with, with not having enough of, of the things in this life that they need, food, shelter, clothing, uh, the Lord would help them meet their basic necessities, that as we can, we help wherever we can uh, with basic necessities, that they might know God's love, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. The great gift of human dignity from conception until natural death, everything of us being human, uh, the Lord would help us to recognize how great that is, that through our hearts, out of our hearts, come respect and love, uh, and lifting up the other person to God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Uh, and is there anything else you would like to add at this time? Seeking justice, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For special intentions and in thanksgiving, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the end of abortion, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. All the sick, the suffering, those battling mental illness, the dying and the poor souls in purgatory, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are suffering from depression, that they find peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. My brothers and sisters, let's just take a few seconds also for all the other intentions that we have in our hearts, the things we might be thinking about, uh, and let's, let's present them before the Lord at this time. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear Show us your face, shining one, that our skin may reflect your grace. May our glory in us draw others to seek you, that all may find a place among your holy people. For you alone are God, now and forever. Amen. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed is be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the grace and glory of his name, for our good and the laws of the Holy Church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, these most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. In his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and at the willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, 
all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gregory, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Mary Magdalene, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will, thy will be done, done on earth, earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom the power, power, and glory, and glory are yours, yours now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her <coughs> peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Amen. Let's offer each other the sign of Christ. Peace, 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 peace. <coughs> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, not worthy. You should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. 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 The body of
My Jesus, I believe that you were in the blessed sacrament. I believe, I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you, and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they shall see God. Let us pray. We have consumed, O Lord, this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift, which he himself gave us with love beyond all telling, may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. St. Michael, Saint Michael your angel, angel, defend us from the Be, be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. devil. May God rebuke them when we humbly pray. And do our Lord and Prince of the Heavenly Host. For the power of God, God cast us into the sea. And all the evil spirits who prowl throughout the world, seeking to work souls. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters in Christ, God bless you. Have a great day, great week, and uh, keep praying and getting closer to God, all of us. Amen. God bless you guys. Amen. Amen.